So in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the speaker from an AirTag. This is a brand new one, as you can see that the plastic is still on. Now the reasons for removing the, the speaker can be different kind of reasons. In my case I'm sending some AirTags by mail and I just don't want them to start beeping after three days. But at the same time um, I also put an AirTag on my bike and the same story goes there. If, I, if my bike gets stolen I don't want it to beep, I just want it to be quiet. By doing this, uh, this whole step, um, you will void your warranty with Apple and the AirTag will no longer be waterproof, but um, it will not make noise anymore. So, but it will work. You can still track it with uh, ultra wideband. Um, all the other options work. It's just quiet, it's silent. So in this case, let me show you first remove the foil. So, there it goes, still makes noise. Okay, step one, open the air tag. So we remove the battery. You could hear it beep, still working because it's new. Now with this little knife, I'm gonna cut between this part here, the two layers of plastic. I need to do this in order to get it open. Um, so what I do is I put it down, put the knife on the corner. It's just to make a little bit of space for the screwdriver. Put the knife in between, lift it up. See, you get space. And once you got the space, put the screwdriver in. Okay, it's coming. There it is. It looks a little bit more rough than it actually is. So. Okay, see, now it's coming. It's opening up. There it is. So, this is actually the electronics and this is the coil it's magnetic and we're going to remove it sometimes you'll find this thing already here in that case you just skip it out with screwdriver so um, in this case it's still stuck here so what i do is i usually put screwdriver twist and turn a little bit so it comes loose there it comes Voila. This is the coil. Now the funny thing is, you can actually, if you don't glue the air tag, you can still put it back. Now it will not make noise, but if I put it back, like this, close the air tag, like this, put the battery, put the cover, see, could already hear a beep. See? So, you can put it back if you want afterwards. The only thing is you can glue it then. In my case, I have no intention of putting it back. So, I remove it. Close the air tag. Keep, keep the little hole here in mind. This hole will fit exactly over the little pin that's sticking out here. So, you just put it like that. That's how we're going to put it when we glue it. So, in my case, I just put a bit of glue. Put a little bit here. Put a little bit here. A tiny bit here. So, it just has to be very little. Put the cover. Keep the hole in mind. Yep, there it is. Press it, then it will glue. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to close the glue. Push it a few times and that's it. Battery 
can go back this can go back and we got ourselves a modified air tag that doesn't make any more sound voila that's how simple it is only the glue needs to dry a little so this whole procedure as you can see is very easy it will void your warranty and it will no longer be waterproof but it is easy um, I'm gonna send this air tag out by mail to Norway and um, if you like my kind of videos please subscribe to my YouTube page thank you